Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the closure property on binary operation. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Closure property states that if you're given with two elements of set S, those elements are A and B, and then you combine them using a certain binary operation, we can only say that that operation is closed under set S if the answer to that binary operation is also a member of set S. In other words, if both A and B, the inputs to our binary operation are from set S, then the output or the result should also be found in the set S. For instance, we have this binary operation labeled as tilde A tilde B is equal to 2A plus B. We are asked if this tilde is closed under the real numbers. So we will be testing different values for A and B, wherein A and B are both real numbers. And then the answer should also be a real number. If we found an example or a value for A and B that when operated using this tilde results to a number that is not real, then this binary operation is not closed. For instance, we have A is 4 and B is 3, negative 3. So we use A tilde B defined by 2A plus B, but A is 4 tilde negative 3. So this is 2 times 4, which is the first element, plus negative 3. 2 times 4 is 8, plus negative 3 results to 5. And 5 is an element of the set of real numbers. So meaning, this is closed. A till the B is closed in the set of real numbers. Let's give another example for the values of A and B. For A, let's use a fraction, say we have one third. And then for B, let's use square root of five. Both of them are real numbers. This is a rational and this is an irrational number. So let's try plugging them in, in our A tilde B. So this is 2A plus B. A here is one third till the square root of 5. This is 2 times 1 third plus square root of 5. 2 times 1 third is 2 third plus square root of 5. And this can still be added together. Using your calculator, 2 thirds plus square root of 5 is 2.9027. Three and so on. So see, even if we add a fraction and an irrational number, it will still result to a number that is under the real number system. With that being said, we can really state that A till the B is closed in the real numbers. Next, we have this given set. This time, this is not under the big umbrella of the real numbers. This is just limited to set W having the elements 1, 2, 3. Is this operation phi defined by A phi B is equal to A B minus 1? Is this closed in set W? What we are going to do here is we will test each value for A and B. And then if we found out a certain result after operating this phi such that that result is not a member of W, then we can say that this phi is not closed under W. Say, for example, let's use 3 phi 2. So we will have 3 times 2 minus 1. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1, this is 5. And obviously, 5 is not an element of set W. So based on this first example, we can already say that phi is not closed 
in W. Even if we use another pair of values for A and B, say for example, we have 1 phi 3. This will result to 1 times 3. Again, we are multiplying the two numbers, minus 1. 1 times 3 is 3, minus 1, this is 2. Even if 2 is an element of W, we found a counterexample. This is called a counterexample. That will tell us that phi is not closed in W. So even if there is just one example or one counterexample that will disprove the closure of the binary operation in a set, then that binary operation is not closed anymore. So that's it for the closure property on binary operations. Always take note that closure property requires that the input and the output should be both found on the set that is being used as reference. In this first example, we have the reference of real numbers, so all the real numbers. And for the second example, just the set W. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.